news with your anchors, Mrs. Bates and Mrs. Rebholtz, with weather by Mrs. Ellis and sports by Mrs. Cannon. Entertaining morning news you can use. Good morning, Flint Hill family. Today is Wednesday, November the 18th. 2020, and we are so excited to be here at Flint Hill. Um, boys and girls, I want to tell you about a few things going on uh, in the next few weeks, and I also want to remind you about a few things. First thing I want to remind you about is your mask. Make sure you are wearing your mask at all times, covering your mouth and your nose, okay? That's really, really important. Make sure you're washing your hands throughout the day, after you eat, after you go to the restroom, all that kind of stuff, okay? Make sure you're doing that. And make sure that we are trying our very best to keep our distance from one another as best as possible, okay? It's really, really important, and I just wanted to take this moment to remind you about that. The next thing I want to remind you about is Thanksgiving holidays are November the 25th through the 27th. Get three days off from school. Hope you enjoy those. December the 4th is going to be a National Sock Day. And you can bring $1 and you can bring some, you can wear some crazy socks, even though National Sock Day isn't about crazy socks. You can wear crazy socks on that day and that $1 will go to the Relay for Life. Also on December the 18th, we're going to have a Polar Express Pajama Day. Now that's a half day. We're gonna have an early release. You can wear pajamas for $1 and you're going to get a treat in the video. Polar Express is what we will be doing on that day here at Flint Hill. So looking forward to all these things and I'm sure there's gonna be lots of other things coming up in the next few days that um, we'll wanna to talk to you about. Things that's gonna be exciting. Uh, today, I want to tell you about a couple of things that's in the new show. One is today is a very special person's birthday, and Alex Sanson is going to bring that to you, and I think you'll enjoy that. And also, in our American Education Week, today's a very important day, especially for people like me. Um, today is uh, professional support, um, support professionals day, excuse me, support professionals day. And um, I just can't say enough uh, for what we, uh, how much we appreciate everyone at Flint Hill that is in a support role. And I hope you enjoy our video that goes along with that. Uh, remember to tell a support person thank you today. And boys and girls, enjoy your day. Have a great day of learning and we will see you, or I will see you back here on Thursday. Hello, we're back. Today is Mickey's birthday. I made a report about it. Here it is. Mickey was made in November 18, 1928, which makes him 92 years old. 90 years older than a mouse's regular lifespan. Two years. His first cartoon was Steamboat Willie, and Steamboat Willie was one of the first cartoons with sound. I think that is awesome, don't you? More than 100 Mickey cartoons were made in the 1930s. That's a lot of Mickey. Mickey made his first in live in-person performance March 12, 1931. Los Angeles on a live stage show called Mickey Mouse Idea. That's my that's my report. So celebrate Mickey Mouse's birthday today. She and I are going to co-anchor um, our segment on Support Professionals Day. 
um, in our uh, findings of what support, uh, per support Professionals Day is, you're going to hear a little bit about that from Landon Baker, and we had some of our anchors uh, on, and news reporters on WPTV interview some people. But I thought it might be nice if Miss Rebels and I kind of told you what our versions are of what a support professional is. Now, Miss Rebels has been on both sides of the street, okay? At one time, Miss Rebels was a support professional. She was someone who supported the teacher in the classroom, okay? And um, now she has moved on to where she is actually the teacher and she has people in her classroom that are the support professionals. Mm -hmm. So Ms. Revolts, tell us a little bit about what it was like when you were a support professional. So I loved being a support professional. Um, the best part about my job was I got to spend all of my time with the children. I didn't have to do paperwork or any of that stuff. Instead, I got to concentrate on just enjoying the children. And I loved it so, so very much. I got to know them so well, and every moment was amazing. So, on the other side of that, now I have two amazing support professionals in my classroom. And I could not have the amazing classroom that I do without either one of them. They help out so much. If I'm busy over here doing something, they can pick up and go over here and help these children. And the same, if they're busy doing something, it allows me time to be able to help these children. And so without them and the awesome team that we make together, our classroom would not run as well and our children would not get all of the amazing education that they're getting. So I am very, very thankful for every support professional that I know. So you see there, boys and girls, it takes a lot of people to be able to educate you. Now, it's not just paraprofessionals, okay? Myself and Ms. Stevenson are your technology support people, and Ms. Thomason, who is our technician. So we, we help Ms. Thomason. So there, everybody's got a helper around here. And we the, all know that this school does not run without these amazing women. <laughs> just like in the cafeteria. Okay, it takes many people to provide lunch for you. Just like with the bus drivers, it takes many drivers to be able to get you to and from school. And what about our front office? Oh my goodness. What about our front office? Do you think Dr. DiNardo and Miss and uh, Dr. Hips and Miss Walker and Miss Evans could run that front office all by themselves? No. Nope. Don't let them fool you. <laughs> they could not. They have to have support. They need Miss Rhodes. They need Miss Morgan. They need Miss Lumpkin. They need Miss McCory. And they need them because nobody can do everything. Nobody knows everything and nobody can do everything. There is no I in team. There is no I in team. And we are a team here at Flint Hill, okay? Um, so we want you to know that. You are part of our team. Okay? A very big part. You are a very big part because if there was no you, they wouldn't need us. So I want you to think about that word support and I want you to run with it. I want you to see the little interviews that we did and I want you to think about it. And during the day today, I would really, really like to see you, wouldn't you Miss Rebels, say thank you to a support person here at Flint Hill. Yes. So boys and girls, pay attention. I hope you enjoy the rest of this show and learn something new today. Hello Wolfpack, my name is Landon Maker and today is National Education Support Professionals Day. It is usually on Wednesday of American Education Week. Today is a day when we say thank you and celebrate our paraprofessionals like Ms. Ellis, Ms. Hood, or Ms. Lombardi. We also celebrate custodians, bus drivers, and teachers too. So if you see a paraprofessional, custodian, bus driver, or teacher, or something like that, Make sure to give them a thumbs up, say thank you, or even just flash them a smile from under your mask. Hello, Ms. Aiken. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you for being a support professional for our students. So tell me, what do you even do? Like, what exactly do you do? I work with Ms. Garner in her special needs MRD class. Hmm, very nice. Thank you. Welcome, Ms. Lombardi. I have been working as a 
paraprofessional for 12 years. Hi, my name is Chris Bennett, and I'm with Miss Bennett. Where is your last place to work at a hotel? My favorite place would be the gym. I help Coach uh, Thomas and Coach Owen speak. It's really challenging sometimes, but we're glad to do it to make Clinton as clean as possible and be one of the cleanest people we can. Very interesting. One more question. How are you guys doing in protecting us from all the corona out coming into our school? Well, we are disinfecting all of the water uh, fountains and doorknobs and the different places, the high places that the kids touch and people can touch in the school. And we are fogging the building upstairs and downstairs, all the classrooms and the hallways every week. Hmm, that is very helpful and interesting. Thank you, Mr. Vaughn, for protecting our school and keeping it nice and clean. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Wolfpack Weather Center. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. Meteorologist Memoji with your three-day forecast coming up next. Lots of sunshine in the forecast for the next several days. Chilly temperatures, but it's going to warm up for the weekend, guys. We made it to Wednesday. We're almost there. We're almost over hump day. The struggle is real, but we will make it. Have an awesome afternoon, and we will see you back here bright and early in the morning. It's your weekend sports review with Miss Cannon. In Friday Night Lights, Eastside beat Walnut Grove 31 to nothing. Newton lost to Grayson, 37 to nothing, and Social Circle beat Town County, 34 to 27. So this weekend in college football, not a lot of games were played. Georgia State lost to Appalachian State, 17 to 13. Georgia Southern beat Texas State, 40 to 38, and Florida State lost to NC State, 38 to 22. Most of the other teams were off this weekend, so fingers crossed we get to play. Atlanta United was off this weekend. Their next game is December 16th when they start the quarterfinal leg of the championship. They will play Club America on the 16th. Time is to be determined. The Falcons were off this weekend. The Patriots won their game 23 to 17, beating the Lions. The Steelers have improved to an impressive 9 and 0 after beating the Bengals 36 to 10. I hope everyone has a great week. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.